Okay, today we're going to look at this uh, Predator engine on the log splitter here, the big green one. We're having a backfiring issue when we go to start it up. And that could be an indication of uh, poorly adjusted valves. Uh, I never did adjust these valves yet, so we're going to try to do that here and see if that makes an improvement. So we're going to start by taking our spark plug wire off and remove the spark plug so we can find top dead center of the piston. And here we're using a 13 16 It's probably metric, but this will work. tight in there amongst the air shrouds. Let me pull that out. Plug looks fairly good. Now we want to take and remove our valve cover. And this one's real easy. It only has one 10 millimeter bolt to remove this cover. Pull the bolt out, should be able to pop the cover right off and it comes off easily. Pull our breather hose off, there's our valve cover. Now we want to pull our pull cord slowly. These look like 10 millimeters as well. They're all, everything's 10 millimeter. We have a light here. Let's get that on here if we can see. Okay. We want to get the engine to top dead center where both valves are closed. In order to do any kind of adjustment, okay. Yeah, there's one's too loose. One is way too tight. We also want to use our feeler gauge at factory specs. This is at four thousandths. For our feeler gauge. We want to run our feeler gauge in between the rocker and the end of the valve. And we want to make make it so that there's very slight drag. Tighten it till you just feel a drag on the feeler gauge. Now if you can't move the feeler gauge, it's too tight. Back it off slightly until it moves. Should be adjusted. These are a special type of locking nut 
some designs require to the loosening of a nut and a, there'd be a flathead screw adjustment here but this one just has the locking nuts That should do it. Now we just want to put everything back together in reverse order. Uh, make sure we don't get any dirt in here. We put our valve cover back on. And again, they made it very easy with just one bolt on this particular model. Some models will have four individual bolts on the cover. This one's one. Put our spark plug back in. Check your spark plug condition. It shouldn't be fouled or corroded. If your gap, if your electrodes look corroded, it'd be time for a new one. This one still looks pretty fresh. And you also want to make sure you have the correct gap. So we'll put this back in. Careful not to cross thread the spark plug either. plug wire back on make sure that it's making the right contact and these predator engines are a Honda style engine but they're made in China this one's been fairly reliable easy starting has good power a lot less money than a Honda brand anyway hopefully this will help our backfiring problem. All right guys, we just got done adjusting those valves. Uh, we're gonna start it up. With any machines, we wanna use our proper protective equipment. If you're gonna run this machine for many hours, wear your plugs, I'd highly suggest it. Turn our ignition switch on. This particular engine is electric start, which is a nice feature. Here's our throttle, give it partial throttle. If you have a cold engine, give it choke. This engine starts very easily usually, and we'll give her a go. Fired right up, your valves adjusted correctly, functions as intended. Thanks guys.